Hollywood's talent agencies. Does this new movie blow the lid off what reportedly goes on behind closed doors? How many drugs are you on right now? How many? Will you name them? Tell me. Drugs, prostitutes, the new movie that has Hollywood running scare. That's tomorrow. All right, let's move on. Our next movie is Ivan's Ecstasy with Danny Houston delivering a performance of raw, searing genius as a high-powered Hollywood talent agent who's dying, not from the drugs he consumes like so many jelly beans, but from a lung tumor. Houston, who is the son of the legendary director John Houston, plays Ivan Beckman in this update of Tolstoy's The Death of Ivan Ilyich. I guess you have something to celebrate. Oh, I'm sorry. Have I'm you, so late. Have you seen the papers? West ankle east, from Zimbalist to Beckman, and this in very pain. Ivan is the toast of his agency because he has just signed Don West, the biggest star in the world. Peter Weller bravely inhabits the odious West, a supposed family man with voracious and dark appetites. Don't be a particle, baby. You gotta either do it or you leave the room. Yeah. Come on, baby. Let her change the oh. truth. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. I'm out of it. I'm, 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 I'm okay. It's fine. You gonna go do it? Yes. Go do it. She's a sport. She's good. I can do it. Big girl. I can do it. Let's see who's home left the All right. In another memorable performance, Lisa Enos plays Ivan's nakedly ambitious girlfriend who accompanies him to a family dinner. Look at her. She hasn't stopped sniffing since she came out of the bathroom. For your information, I am on antidepressants. Mm -hmm. I know it makes me appear to be a little... What? Director and co-writer Bernard Rose reportedly based the Ivan Beckman character on Jay Maloney, a hotshot agent who surrendered his career and eventually his life to cocaine addiction. Maloney hanged himself in 1999. Ivan isn't literally suicidal, but he doesn't do anything to fight that tumor either. It just becomes another bottle of pills in his pocket. Ivan's ecstasy is funny and sharp and knowing, but it's also painful to watch as it's extremely effective at reminding us that we all have one thing in common, and that one thing is mortality. You know, I didn't believe a moment of Yaya Sisterhood, and I believed every moment of Ivan's ecstasy. Yeah, this is yeah. one of the best films I've ever seen, portraying a person's inner life at a time of crisis. This mm -hmm. is a guy whose life is in crisis all the time anyway. And then he finds out he's dying and he can't deal with that because he's already in pain anyway just because right. he wakes up every morning and starts in with the pills it is so I think you use the word searing. It is just so searing and painful. This guy, Danny Houston, obviously comes from Hollywood royalty, yes. but he's such a good actor. Mm -hmm. I mean, out of nowhere, you see this performance that mm -hmm. is just right up there among the year's best. And there's a scene where he's trying to mm -hmm. talk about what way. matters to him in his life, and he realized nothing does. So but what's even sadder find. about that is he's telling it to these two party in bimbos who, uh, these are the people he confides in. I don't know if he knows their names. They're just two women he's partying just, with, you know, and as soon as they hear this stuff, they kind of leave the room. Just, they can't handle it either. They're looking at him with open mouths. And you know, the thing about Danny Houston since performances, he doesn't play to some kind of a heavy, tragic Eugene O'Neill type character. He has this sardonic personality. The character does. Mm -hmm. He's always kind of making everything into a joke. He kind of working. looks at everything obliquely. He's got this working. colorful yeah. way about him, right. and he uses that as a, as a mask. And underneath that, we see just sheer stark terror. It's yeah. so, it's one of the best movies of the year. It's tough to watch, but it's really yeah, it's a it's a fantastic movie. Okay, recapping this week's movies, two thumbs down for Divine Secrets of the Yaya Sisterhood, two thumbs up for Ivan's Ecstasy, we split on Undercover Brother, two thumbs up for Atanar Jawat, The Fast Runner, and two thumbs down for Bad Company. Remember, you can hear all our recent reviews at evenroper.tv and readers in print at suntimes.com.